Here's how to recover your LinkedIn account without your email or phone number. Now, if you're on LinkedIn and you forgot your email and phone number that you used to sign up, or maybe it was one that you don't have access to anymore, I'll walk you through the entire process to get back into your account. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's open up a web browser here, and let's say you're on LinkedIn, but you don't know your email or phone number, and essentially, you need to go forward and log into your account, but you can't. This also works if you are with a company and use that company email address, but now you no longer have access to that phone number or email. Let's say I forgot password here. And now it says email or phone number. Now, what you can do on here is just type in any email address that you remember that you use. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the LinkedIn email address that is associated with your account. Just type in anyone here. So let's just say I type in just a random email here. Where am I? Let's say at gmail.com and hit next. Now, it might do a security check here. I'm going to hit verify and do the one that's right side up. Now, the cool thing on here is it says it might not recognize that email or let's say doesn't like that one. Let's say do that one. you're essentially gonna enter in one of your email addresses that you regularly use. This doesn't have to be the one that's associated with your account again. But after that, it says, all right, it will send the code here, but you're gonna hit can't access this email at the very bottom. Now, after you do that, the cool thing is, is it says provide a new email address. So enter in your new email address, re-enter it. And then also says basically search on Google for your LinkedIn profile, go to your LinkedIn profile and enter in the URL directly for that LinkedIn profile. Now, the cool thing is after you go through this process, essentially what it will do is it will show you a QR code that you can then use on your phone or on another device. You can scan that QR code to confirm that you are the actual owner of that account. And then after going through that process, it will let you back into your account and reset your password so that you'll be able to use that new password to be logged in and that new email address that you just enter in directly on here. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.